Hello, Internet! I'm Amster Bomb, and you are watching some more Pokemon Q Charm. And this time, I've been able to progress our game a little bit to get to three new honey trees. Now, um, problem with honey trees, as I mentioned in past episodes, is they are a pain in the butt to work with. You need to buy a lot of honey to begin with in order to slather the tree with honey, and then after you do that, you need to come back six hours later. Um, and then you can interact with Pokemon. It has been six hours since I have slathered three trees. We have access to three of them right now. Um, we're going to look at what I got in each of these three trees. As of right now, unless we get Wurmple, Wurmple, and Wurmple, which I think is the only Pokemon who is a common in all of the trees, um, then that would stink because we don't need him. We are going to be finding Silcoon Cascoon later. Um, we are not catching Wurmple. We are also going to find Beautifly Dust Tox later. We're not going to be catching Wurmples, so... Hopefully we have everything else in our trees because that's what we need. In fact, we're going to need duplicates of them as we went over earlier. And these things are really going to be a pain. Now, normally they're supposed to be shaking, so I'm not entirely sure what's the deal with this one here. But I'm pretty sure that... Okay, good. Yes, we do have something in the tree. And it is a... Ooh, a Kobe! Oh my god, what? Okay, awesome! First freaking encounter. We got a shiny Kobe. Okay, that's really rare, as you guys know that, um, even finding a female combi is really hard. Um, man, that was lucky. That was really lucky! I can't be too loud today because I have people who are still, like, obviously the six hour thing makes me have to record at weird times, so I'm not entirely prepared. I even have my headphones off to make sure I don't yell, <laughs> so hopefully I don't do that. But, um, anyway. So, the combis are predominantly male, so even finding a female, this is like the Machop, except we found it on the first encounter. This is nuts! Um, now it's only on level 9. Ooh, I've never raised a Vespa Queen. Ooh. And we're gonna have to for the game anyway. I might put it on our team. Now, as you can see down there, um, we have a new Machop. Um, I went back and got another one because I wanted to be building No Guard, and this one has better IVs and everything except physical attack, which is kind of a shame. Um, but I let Kim name this one, and, um, yeah, there you go. Kim named it, not me, okay? This is... <laughs> did sound... <laughs> I think she named it because every time you... it comes out and just does this, and of course they're female and not wearing shirts. So this stinks, and we're actually weak to this thing, but I think it will resist the ever-loving crap out of fighting moves. So I'm gonna hit it with a cry chop, and hopefully it does, like, next to nothing. Okay, good, good, we can hit it with another. As long as we don't critical hit or anything. Unfortunately, no guard, I will not miss, which is very helpful. So, I kinda wanna keep Tits out on the team, at least for a while, because I went back and caught another. Yes, okay, perfect. Okay, good. I really wanna raise it now. You know the the combi? That's pretty cool, I've never raised one. Um, other than the one that we obviously had to raise in, um, Hargold's Q Charm, you know? That's kind of different though. They were at such high levels, I just leveled them up once. Two shakes and it still did not stay. Being kind of stubborn, I don't remember their capture rate. I say there. It's like a Dug Trio or a Magneton, but it's not. Whatever. Look what I'll use last. Alright, so we have two more trees. So, um, even if we get another Combi, that's good. Because one. Darn it because we're going to need one to stay as combi for our uh, requirement, and one will be a Vespa Queen. So, perfectly fine. I'm really hoping we get this one as our good one, because then we can start raising it, because I really need new Pokemon for the team, um, because all of mine will not listen to me, even if they're at level 12. You know, that's one, two, three. Yes! We caught our shiny combi! I was so quick! I was honestly expecting, like, Wurmple, Wurmple, Wurmple out of this. I waited well over six hours, actually. So the six-hour mark was going to be in the middle of the night, so I had to wait till the morning, and I can't record in the morning. And if you wait too long, the honey trees won't shake anymore. Fantastic. The Tiny Bee Pokemon. This trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers honey from flowers to please Vespa Queen. So it really is a trio that are, like, molded together with honey. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Give a nickname to the cod, Combi, yes. I named her Caramel, even though it's supposed to be Caramel, I think. Slather the bark with honey. Well, yes. Why not? Bark with slather with honey. Alright, so that one's now reset, so it's 
12.30 p.m. for me right now. I said morning, but long story. They came in on a very uh, late-slash-early flight, so that's why they're not all up right now, and I don't want to really bother people. So, anyway, um, what, uh, anyway, the name, I was gonna name it, I wanted to name it just Caramel, because I always just say Caramel, I don't know anybody who says Caramel, but it's actually spelled like that, so I didn't really want to screw it up. So anyway, Caramel, I'm gonna say Caramel. Caramel is actually holding another honey for me, which is awesome, so we basically got that one for free. It is a serious nature, okay, which is fine. Mischievous happily eats anything, especially honey, I assume. Um, has the ability Honey Gather. That could really uh, be helpful for all the honey tree stuff I've got to do. Not really helpful for the fighting aspect, but it's okay. Knows just sweet scent and gust. Okay, so what I'm going to do, since it has Honey Gather, I'm just going to keep taking honey from Caramel and keep Caramel in the party. Um, we might actually want a full heal because we have no idea what we're going to be fighting, and I'd rather at least have two Pokemon who are willing to fight for me and help out with our other two trees, because we're going to have two more of them. One of them is right by Valley Windworks, and I know at one point at Valley Windworks, if you go on like a Tuesday or something, maybe it's Friday, um, then a Drifloon will be out front, and you can soft reset for the Drifloon. I was considering going for the Drifloon for the team as well. I have raised a Drifblim, but I do just enjoy the Pokemon in general, so um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Now I'm finally getting enough Pokemon in this game where I'm like, I don't know who to raise anymore. Don't know who to raise. Ooh, it's actually moving this time. Now we do want to save in front of the tree, because um, that's what I did before with the other tree. We got dead lucky, and we just happened to have our shiny one on the first encounter, which is insane. But um, since this is shaking, this is kind of giving me an impression this might be a rarer Pokemon. Since I saved, I can soft reset for whoever this is. The Pokemon will not change, but another Combi. That's a shame. Okay, but still, we will get a second Combi. That's good. Now, we're going to stand in front of this tree and keep soft resetting. I wonder why this one is shaking and the other one didn't, and they're both giving combi. Um, that may mean that there's different rarities of trees, because from what I understand, there's like four different- Oh my god, what? Level six? Wow, it's even weaker, that's weird. So the levels can even change too, that's really strange. That was so fast, that was so fast. We just took out combi and Vespa Queen immediately. Now they're gonna be commons for us. Great. Now, I really hope I don't kill this in one shot. That would stink. But, um, there's different brackets for rarities of the trees that they can land in. And as I've mentioned before, only four of your 23 trees randomly throughout your game have the ability of giving you a 1% Mudgelax. Which would be... Oh, darn it, I already went yellow. Which would be so great if we could find something like that immediately. We've already been super lucky with two shiny combis. I would be so thrilled if we got a shiny Munchlax and immediately just like, please, because Munchlax is one that I want on the team. Like, that'd be so awesome. One, two, darn. This thing must have a tougher capture rate than I gave it credit, because I was not taking that into account. I didn't have a chance to look it up. Wasn't expecting to get anything uh, new out of this. I was seriously expecting Wurmples, which is good we're not getting Wurmples. So I don't know what the shaking means, if that determines rarity or not, because um, as far as I could see, that really had nothing to do with it. We're gonna work free. I'm probably gonna raise whichever of these Kobe's is the stronger one, um, though it's nice to bring another around. I'm at least going to have it with me until we go to the next gym and I can raise Pokemon to level 30, um, because at that point, then I'm gonna be able to bring my ball toy. Um, I don't think I can bring my... Oh yes! I don't think I can bring my, um, no, I, I think I can bring Chimikanga, or Voltorb, he's a level 29. That's kind of pushing it, though. He, he, as soon as he hits 30, he's not going to listen to me anymore. Give a name to the Kakombi, yes! Nectar is her name, so awesome. We'll take a look at Nectar and slather this bark with honey as well. It's only five minutes off of the other one, so that's good. I'm just going to immediately save, because we've now got, shoot, but my Machop took a little damage. I don't know if we need to go back or not for our last tree, but we have one more. I obviously didn't even get to hunt in this grass yet. There are new Pokemon in it, and I haven't even gone in there yet. That's a different shake. That is actually a different shake. I want to save in front of the tree. I don't know why I saved when I moved, but that was a diff this is a different look. I don't know how many different shaking looks there are. Um, ideally, I want the rarest one, 
So I'm not sure if this is one or not. We will find out. Let's take a quick look at Nectar to take a comparison. Um, Nectar is holding honey, has a naive nature, strong-willed, and also has honey gather. I'm not remembering naive off the top of my head. I have to get used to all of our new natures because the game has, like, totally changed. Though I'm going to hang on for that again. Oh, I need to save the fact that I took the honey away. Fortunately, since I did so little, um, saving doesn't take very long in this game. In Diamond and Pearl, it takes a very long time, especially if you've done a lot. See, it's already done. Alright, let's see what we have. Come on, big money on something rare here. Another combi! That is a shame. Okay, so what that means is we can reset as many times as we want to, and it won't matter. I'm going to do it anyway just to make me feel better. But that means... Um, we did not get anything rare out of there, which really stinks, because they had three different kinds of shakes, yet they all gave the same Pokemon. So this time I'm actually going to fight it, and we're going to kill it, because I was level 12. Um, I really don't have the option you know, to do anything else with it at this point. Um, it's just gotta go, and unfortunately magic is out front, which, you know, maybe it's best to save magic the experience, and I'm gonna switch magic off the party from the front, and we're gonna try and kill it with... <sighs> which one? I need someone who can kill it who can listen to me. That's the problem. I'm not even sure who that's gonna be. Shoot. Uh, because, I mean, it'd be nice and quick if I could use Big Mama and Ranger, but they're not going to listen. <laughs> it turns out it's kind of uh, losing the HP there a bit. It's a level 12 one. I could try Caramel and use Gusts. Oh, no, no, I meant Switch. I was expecting Switch to be up there. A Sweet Scent may be helpful later in the game. Force Encounters out of the grass? I don't know. Sometimes it takes a little too long in order to do that. We'll find out, though. So this may be an equal battle here. Oh, nice. We can see shiny combi versus normal combi. Very cool. I'm gonna keep using Gust and hope that the other one uses lots of sweet scents. Because... Ow! Oh, or it could critical hit on the first turn and go faster than me. That's good. That's really good. Okay, Ranger, avenge this thing. I just need Ranger to listen to me. It's so frustrating, Ranger will not do what I say. Oh, Ranger did what I asked! Look at that! That's awesome! Oh, Ranger, oh dear. So this may take a while for me to kill this thing, but at the very least, we're able to look in three of our honey trees. I need to kill this thing so that it will drop out of the tree and I can put a new, um, uh, new honey on it. And with new honey on the tree, it just does whatever it wants. Um, with new honey on the tree, we'll be able to wait another six hours, and I'll come back and try again for some new Pokemon. It's a bummer that we got three of the same thing. That really stinks with three different kinds of shapes. Man, I was really expecting something different each time, which really stinks, because there's a lot of different Pokemon we can get this way. And right now, um, Kombi as well... Darn it. Kombi as well as Wormbolt are worthless ones. That basically means we need to kill it and try again. And I'm not sure where we're even going to start finding rare ones like Heracross and especially Munchlax. Fortunately, we only need one Heracross, but we need two Munchlax. Good, the Combi's dead. Okay, now. Ranger Gate 135. Went to level 13, which is dangerous. You're just getting closer and closer to 30, so by the time I get to get that second badge, it won't help. Sparkle Slathered with Honey. Alright, sweet. So, uh, 12.40 is when I put that last one down, so now I know that. So, six hours from now, I will check back on those three, and I will attempt to make new clips for them. I will record them at this point on, because now you guys know what I'm doing. Um, but you will not see me introduce episodes or anything until, um, the encounter has started, and you'll see my live reaction to whatever the new Pokemon is. Um, because if, say, for example, I do this and next time I get Combi Combi Wurmple, or, you know, something like that where nothing's new, um, I'm gonna discard the footage because it's not new at all. If we get a new Pokemon at all, then for sure we're gonna start with that, and after that point, we'll probably look in the grass around the Valley Windworks because we've got some new Pokemon over there. I think there's a Buizel, a Pachirisu, and a Shellos. 
We're gonna hunt those guys out and hopefully find some new finds in the honey trees as well because that I think is gonna be a lot of fun trying to get some really cool ones out of there. But for now, we're gonna start moving our pug over here. Clearly, one of these cubbies is going back in the box. I'm trying to ignore it by level and just figure out which one is better based on the natures, maybe the IVs as well. So what I'm gonna do is, oh darn it. I was gonna move them next to each other. And then from there, I will actually just compare it from here, put one back, and uh, you'll probably see in the next episode based on which one is still in my party is the one that I chose. I'm probably gonna look into like IVs and stuff too, if there is any way to even tell at this low of a level, it's usually kind of cryptic. Um, but I think it's worth looking at because these things are going to be farming honey for us and at the very least I do need that because it's going to get expensive, I have to keep buying honey every time, like I said, I use one. So that really stinks, that really stinks. So here's to some rares from the honey trees in the future, but either way, that is all the time we have for now, thank you all so much for watching, remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Cute Charm. Bye.